Today we're going to be working on this Samsung dishwasher. The model number is on the display. This is how the touch panel looks like. Welcome to DIY Repair Now. Read all the warnings. And during this video, you will see one or more of these icons to help you do this repair safe. The complaint that we have with this dishwasher is that the buttons does not respond all the time. This means that one of the buttons might got stuck on the on position and it's working intermittently or the touch panel in fact is just going bad as you see i'm trying to press to start trying to turn it off and nothing is happening if this is your issue with your dishwasher the samsung dishwasher go ahead and stay tuned and i will show you how to replace this touchpad panel we're going to go ahead and remove all these screws from the top side of the panel you will have to remove the same exact screws that i'm removing uh, not all the screws just the ones you see we don't have to remove the screws from the bottom of the um, this door because the part the bottom part can stay on we will just remove the touch panel on the top in some models you have to remove the whole door but in this scenario we only have to remove this touch panel um, assembly as you see by removing those screws this part comes off and also the um, door switch so you have to make sure that door switch it doesn't get damaged while you do this repair always remember to disconnect the appliance before you start working on it however sometimes i leave it on because i do this pretty much every day um, next we're going to go ahead and use a putty knife to start removing this touch panel from this assembly now let me tell you guys that they sell this touch panel um, board by itself or they will sell the uh, whole housing which is the whole plastic bracket that holds this touch panel in place also the touch panel um, does not include the skin on the top the skin is the one who has the uh, lettering and numbers um, so that would be like the skin, the top uh, part of this panel. Once you get the putty knife in, you start prying it out little by little. Just make sure you don't damage the skin because you will have to reuse the skin to put it on the other one. Now, I tried to get the whole housing, but it was in back order. Nobody had it. And they did have the touch panel because I knew that I was going to run in this situation. This a board that we're replacing today is glued by some kind of real strong adhesive that is really, really, really glued in, really strong. I use a lot of methods to try to remove it from that um, adhesive and it will not come out now i'm gonna go ahead and show you some pictures of what i did and i'm gonna explain to you what i leave you the footage on the bottom of all the struggle that i went through i did use a heating gun to make the glue uh, soft and everything and i don't want it to damage and melt the skin but in the three photos on the top i showed you and the photo number one that's the um, board, the old board with the uh, adhesive, the Y uh, part around the board is the adhesive. In picture number two, you see where I'll start using the knife and also in the video footage, I'm struggling. My camera, I apologize for that. My camera tilted up and you can barely see what I'm doing, but that's why I am explaining to you in the three pictures on the top. And picture number two, you see where 
I got the knife and I start cutting the um, the adhesive through because I didn't have much choice. Like I said, I use a heating gun. That didn't make any difference. That adhesive is extremely, extremely strong and it will not come out. And picture number three is when you see that I have to cut through the, um, the adhesive and the white adhesive stays on on the old um, board. So that's exactly what I did. Picture number one of a full picture of what, how it looks. Picture number two, me cutting the adhesive and picture number three where the old board came completely off with the adhesive included. The only thing that I have noticed is that it, if you push too much that knife, you will leave a mark on the skin. As you see in this footage on the bottom, I show you kind of what I had to do. I didn't have that part on the video because my camera stopped recording for some reason. But just be careful um, how you're going to press that knife um, against the skin because it might leave a mark of the knife on it. And you might see it in a couple more footage of the video how the mark it's around there i explained that to the customer and she was okay because she won her dishwasher and the uh, full panel was in back order and it's no way to know when the uh, whole housing was going to be available and this way we got it going now in my opinion if you can find the same type of adhesive go ahead and do the cutout for the new bore but in my case i try to put it with a little bit of adhesive around it and it did work fine i understand that adhesive probably make um this this panel to be waterproof or anything but i don't think water would be getting in there however i didn't got that on the footage but i did put a little bit of silicone around the board because the silicone can prevent water to get inside the board however like i said i don't think it's necessary and you're gonna see in a minute that the new board is, is working perfectly fine except for those little marks that the knife leave on the old skin because maybe i press it too hard but really that's the only way as you see now it's turning on and off so as long as it works fine this video might help you guys to get your dishwasher going i believe this part was a hundred and some dollars so i'm gonna leave i'm gonna leave a link on the description of this video that way you guys uh find the part number and also um, a place where you can get this part and you can do this repair yourself as you see i keep pressing buttons and everything is working the way it's supposed to i apologize i didn't have the actual footage where i'm gluing the uh, new board on it but like i said my camera stopped recording however i try to explain to you the best i can and how i solve this issue and you know this short video might help you with your situation or at least knows what you need to be replaced in around how much this repair can run if this part is about 150 dollars i believe 130 dollars this repair might cost um 250 dollars for you guys if you call a tech so if you want to do it yourself you already know what to do like i said the only hard uh, thing is that adhesive and like you saw in the video um, the way I did it is working perfectly fine so if you guys like this video and this video help you in any way go ahead and consider to subscribe give us a thumbs up and turn on the bell to receive notifications